Good morning. Welcome to Expert Insights. I am your host, Raju Mandhiyan. Here at Ex Expert Insights, we take external views of internal successes by foreigners, expats, and immigrants who have made Philippines their home. This morning, Friday morning on Expert Insights, we have a special bunch of guests from a country that has been in the news for the longest time. It's in the middle of a lot of activities that, that have been happening for the last 30 years. My guests today from Afghanistan. They are visiting Philippines for some consulting work and some benchmarking in the areas of development of children of Afghanistan and the disabled and the martyrs of Afghanistan. So I have two guests and they are also supported by some of their consultants. My first guest, Basira Mohammadi. She's a director of Dol Samad, which is the Department of Labor, Social and Martyrs and Disabled. They'll tell us. And Alishir Atif, Planning Director of Molsaman. We'll ask him what Molsaman means. And they are here with their translator, Sohaila. She'll translate whenever translation is needed. And their consultant from the Philippines who has brought them here and who's doing a lot of work in Afghanistan, which should make us very proud, Martin Larry Mapolo, consultant par excellence. Welcome to Expand Insights. Thank you. Super khair. Super khair. Good morning. <laughs> so, uh, well, number one, I'm happy on behalf of this country that I live in that you're here to do some consulting work and also to understand how our Department of Social Welfare works. No? Mm -hmm. So, uh, just before we start, can you please, Madam, tell us about how is Afghanistan today? What is the situation and condition in Afghanistan? Afghanistan <laughs> بهبود ببخشه فعلا در افغانستان تطبیق میشه ما خوشحالیم که این وضعیت را داریم فعلا افغانستان در موقعیت قرار داره که نیاز به نیروی مسلکی داره تا ما بتانیم از معادن زیرزمینی فراوانی که داره بتانیم استفاده کنیم در جهت بهبود وضعیت معیشتی زندگی افغانستان چون افغانستان یک کشور یا مهاد به خشکه و در جنوب آسیا قرار داره که میتونه با کشورهای چهار پنج کشور همسایه خود مساعد ترانزیتی و ترانسپورتی و اقتصادی خوب داشته باشه. Good morning. Greetings to the kind people of Philippines. Yeah. Uh, during the last uh, three decades of uh, war, Afghanistan has passed a lot of problems and mm -hmm. challenges and difficulties. <coughs> uh, but uh, comparing to the last decades, nowadays we see uh, Afghanistan has really developed de comparing to the last decades. We see development in the various areas, political, uh, social, cultural, economical. Uh, and, uh, so these are the aspects that people have begun to develop. They have developed in these areas. We see participation, more participation of women uh, in various, in especially in the political uh, affairs and the social affairs. And uh, also we see children develop especially in the area of education we see that uh, they have uh, given opportunity to educate uh, uh, even it's a secondary school or primary school and even to the higher uh, uh, degree of a school and also uh, we see uh, we also have a lot of resources in the country like we have mines which needs excavation so here we need professional assistance in the country where we need uh, assistance from the international community to help us in this regard so we that could uh, we could excavate the mines and okay we could develop the country through excavation of the mines we should use utilize our resources in the country so we see we go to work development uh, and this is a good sign yep. to the country that we see a good development in the country we see ability in the people we see talent in the people well, so uh, well in, in the Philippines we say may God bless your hopes no? thank you so let me ask mr. Uh, Atishar Ati Alishar Atif who is also the director of Dolsamad, Molsamad, Molsamad, no? so uh, what is your precise mission in the Philippines? What brings you to the Philippines? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for inviting uh, 
yes, in sir. the Philippines and I say hello and good morning for all Filipinians, Filipino. Uh, we came here to exchange our knowledge and to exchange our experience. Yeah. So when we came in here, we saw a lot of things, especially with the... I'm sorry. Uh, we came in here and uh, we saw uh, every, uh, a lot of things, especially whenever we had uh, some presentation and uh, social affairs, welfare and, uh, and department of the labor. Because we have uh, exchanged and we have we discussed a lot about the planning and especially I, it was very interesting to me that I know how the people, uh, the government of the Philippines, they are uh, making their strategic plans, yes, short, mid-term and long-term strategic plans to very how good. to uh, overcome the problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was very interesting to me and I learned uh, most things in here to making the plans, especially the making the strategic plan uh, for Afghanistan. Because uh, right now I am working about the strategic plan of our ministry in, in yes, Malton. And it was very useful for me. And I hope that I do this uh, when I get to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. I launch uh, this uh, strategy. I follow up. Uh, and what I have learned from here, I have to use, uh, I, uh, I use and, uh, in, in my strategic plan as well. Uh, so you've been here for five days now. Yeah. And you have met uh, DSWD and other departments. No? So what has, can you cite an example of your learning that you have understood on how Philippine uh, the strategize well, long term and short term? Can you cite an example or an exchange between any officer you met or anything you understand? Yeah. Exactly when uh, we went into social uh, welfare, uh, we saw uh, the system of uh, the poor people, uh, how they are using from uh, uh, the plants, uh, which we, uh, which was uh, before it was not usable, and now they are uh, they are planting, and uh, in the seas they are using from the seas, and they are making the handicrafts. Mm -hmm -hmm. And that was very bad. That was very interesting to me. Yeah. That then you are making a very uh, low uh, prices. Without they are not paying for uh, for the just they are bringing from the seas and also they are making by their hands and they are selling in the markets in a very high prices and also which is uh, a good thing which is a very good thing and yeah. also we can uh, follow this in our country as well mm -hmm. uh, the second thing which was uh, interesting to me that we, uh, we saw in the uh, director and the secretary of uh, uh, labor and uh, labor and uh, employment yeah. that no. uh, how yes yeah. uh, and how they are using the system to send the pay the uh, their uh, employees to outside of the Philippines, and how can they get a lot of benefits from this? Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I've heard about that, though I have no personal experience, that Dole is doing very good in terms of sending our talent outside yes. and getting returns on that. Yes, yeah. the leader. We are the, the Philippines is the um, worldwide leader in yeah. uh, overseas employment uh, administration, and we learned it in Afghanistan, actually. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Mapolon, of course, has been in Afghanistan for almost five years. Four years. He, four years, almost five years, and he's one of the consultants <coughs> and things who I respect very much, and he's doing good. So, Martin, uh, your personal perspective on this interaction between Afghanistan and Philippines, how, how does that make you proud? Well, we are proud to be able to be of help mm -hmm. to uh, the Afghans, but at the same time, we want to take it back and start uh, from here. This is just the beginning of, uh, of additional linkages and additional work so that we can help. But at the same time, I'm prouder because the Filipinos now becomes something like a um, technical donor, something like we cannot give money, but we have right, people know we'll how. We are giving yes. know-how and experience, which, and is, which is expensive, which is <laughs> yes. valuable, I mean, not expensive. Yeah. Yeah? Yes, it is expensive. So, uh, uh, Madam uh, Mohammadino, may I ask her, uh, what are the plans of Dol Samad and Mol Samad? No? Martin, you'll help me by specifying what is Dol Samad and yeah. Mol Samad. No? Dosa, Dosa, no, later. Uh, yeah, okay, after we'll Dosa. So, what are the plans, long term plans, for both the departments, if the uh, Madam cannot? Yeah. Uh, yeah. در بخش وزارت شهدا است، در بخش معلومات، در بخش 
خود فلان های انکشافی دارن که در بخش کار و کاریوی در قسمت اطفال فعالیت ها ما هست در قسمت زنان هست در قسمت بخش حوادث هست پروگرام هایی که برای تامین معیشت اطفال در سطح اجتماع برنامه ریزی میشه با خصوص اطفال خیابانی در قسمت کودکستان ها و در قسمت پرورشگاه ها و همچنین در قسمت متقاعدین پروگرام های هست که دایره مسی مربوط به ریاست های مربوطه وزارت کار و مور اجتماعی است که ما در این ساحات سال این سال یاد in the Department of Labor and Social Affairs yes. in Herat province is uh, that we work on the heredity of the martyrs and disabilities and also we work on the social, providing social assistance to the children and women uh, and also uh, we, sh we will uh, provide them education and also health as facilities and also we will uh, provide them uh, other technical assistance uh, and also welfare and uh, livelihood development for the women and children. Mm -hmm. uh, besides, uh, we uh, the main activities that we work on are the disaster management. The Department of uh, Labor and Social Affairs work on the disaster management within the province. And uh, we also work on, we have kindergartens, uh, and also we have orphanages, uh, which are all assistant to the children, and also encouraging the women and helping the women. Uh, so, uh, so currently, we, uh, these are the main activities, and we plan to bring development in our pla programs by the assistance of the international community to attract the assistance of international community towards our programs. So the programs that we have, we need more professional and technical assistance to, better, to bring better, mm -hmm. uh, better, uh, as better development and progress, and, and also to have more beneficial uh, implementation of the programs. Oh, okay. More effective. More effective. Uh, and yes. Uh, and uh, we also have, uh, uh, we also have very good programs for retired people. Mm -hmm. And the main, main focus of the department is to work to provide employment situation for women and for men, especially for women mm -hmm. who are uh, under the bad conditions. So these are the main activities, but as I said, that uh, we want uh, to have uh, the assistance of the international community to right. provide us help right, right. and work as, uh, to g g give us a great help on this. Uh, Martin was saying that Philippines is one of the better countries. We can't claim to be the best, no, no. but we are one of the better uh, skilled or better equipped to support our OFWs. No? Uh, from the perspective of Mr. Uh, Atif over here, and of course, madam, what are the specifics that makes Philippines uh, strategy or planning or performance stand apart? I mean, calling it better is one thing, but what really is the uh, highlight of Philippines' strengths? Uh, but, uh, you, uh, maybe if you clarify a little your uh, question, if you clarify it a little. Ah, uh, what I mean is, what makes Philippines stand out and different for you compared to other con other yes. international communities yes, yes. yeah uh, به نظر شما فیلیپین چگونه نظر به مقایسه با کشورهای دیگه فیلیپین چگونه میتونه با شما کمک کنه چی کمک هایی رو به نظر شما فیلیپین میتونه در کدام قسمت ها میتونه که ما اونا تو کمک کنه برای افغانستان مردم خیلی سخت پوشی دیدیم مردم خیلی وطن دوست یافتیم که یعنی همون چیزی که میگن اعتقاد دارن بر اون باور دارن و همون خدمت صادقانه برای مردم خود انجام میدن ما هم آرزو داریم که در قسمت بخش های زیربنایی و تکنیکی و مسلکی مردم افغانستان رو کمک کنند چون در مدتی که 11 سال میشه جامعه جهانی ما رو مایت میکنه ما دستاورد های خوبی داریم اینا رو که کسب کردیم ما هم اینا رو نگه داریم و برای رشد و ارتقای از این در سطح مسلکی ساختن مردم افغانستان چی در ادارات که کار اداره و منیجمنت باشه چی در کش در پیشرفت و انکشاف تکنولوژی عصر روز ما رو حمایت کنن که ما هم بتانیم از این مسیر همپایی با کش مردم دیگر جهان بکنیم و بتانیم مسیر خدمت به جامعه انسانی باشیم 
Uh, we see Philippine yeah. people hardworking. Mm -hmm. They are very hardworking people and also philanthropist people. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, from our experience, or from our visit to our Philippines, uh, we see that Philippines is a developing country. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we see a lot of infrastructure de development and mm -hmm. also a lot of development in the country. Mm -hmm. So in Afga Afghanistan, mostly we see that there are problems with the infrastructure. We do not have good development mm -hmm. of infrastructure and also technical problems. We have technical assistance and also professional assistance. So hopefully mm -hmm. if a uh, Philippine country uh, could provide us such kind of assistance, uh, since uh, we need, uh, we seek such kind of assistance from international community. Mm -hmm. So we we would like to uh, have such kind of uh, help mm -hmm. from Philippine okay. government. Right, inshallah. Yes. Is that the right inshallah. word? Inshallah. Inshallah. So uh, I have two couple of questions for Mr. Ratif over here, but you might want to tell me what the exact definition of Molsamad and Dolsamad and the distinction between the two. Okay, Molsa is yeah. the ministry. Bolsamad okay. is the ministry, Ministry of Labor, right. Social Affairs, mm -hmm. Martyrs and Disabled. They cater so it's to... it's compounded. Yeah, it's yeah. like our DOLE and our DSWD together. Right. Plus, at the same time, they take care of the, of the families of the victims of, the, of mm -hmm. the conflict in Afghanistan. And at the same time, with the, they take care of the disabled. Mm -hmm. Bolsa uh, is the national. Okay. Uh, and Dolsa, Dolsa is the department. It's oh. like the... A field office in the provinces. Oh, like regional offices. Yeah, yeah. they came <laughs> from Herat. Herat <coughs> and Which is a city by the north. Yes, it north is. of Afghanistan. Yeah. West, west. It's west oh. of Afghanistan, and it's one of the one of the more more uh, advanced cities in, mm. in Afghanistan. Herat. Herat. Yes. Herat means like a gift. What? Like gift? a gift. Yeah. Gift. Yeah. Oh. Like inheritance. Yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Herat is, uh, Afghanistan has 34 provinces okay. and Herat is one of those uh, provinces. It's right. a big uh, uh, province and a big city and it, uh, we work with five zones. So uh, uh, Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs provides us a strategy and we get our strategy and plan from Ministry of L Labor and Social Affairs, Martyrs and Disabled. So Herat is uh, one of those uh, uh, we, the Department of Labor and Social Affairs in Herat is one of mm -hmm. those uh, provinces who takes the strategy from the Ministry of Labor and Social mm -hmm. Affairs. Okay. And um, Herat uh, is uh, one of uh, those provinces which is bordered with Iran. I'm sorry? Ne bordered, bordered with the neighbor of Iran. Oh, Iran, it's Iran. on the border of Iran. Yes, okay, border. okay. Right. About 150 kilometers yeah. from yeah, the yeah, Iranian yeah, yeah, border. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Sohela, no? Yes. Sohela, uh, though I don't understand the language, yes. no? But I find it beautiful, and I understand words like perverish and zindagi and kairat. No, I understand this. Yeah. No, uh, it makes me. Uh, I get the sense that Madam and Mr. Atif here are very proud, and of course you, yeah. and you love your Afghanistan. No, sure. so would you like to tell us how exactly you are proud and how you love your country? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, Madam, yeah. Uh, I think uh, you can translate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, میشه <laughs> ولی با آن هم امو محبتی که دارم برای وطن خود و برای مردم خود و برای قانون اساسی کشور خود اعترام دارم بر همو مبناس که ما همی زحمات اگر میشه از مقدری شما سوال کنیم که ما در طول روز چی مشکلات داریم یعنی در اداره خود ما روزانه دو هزار نفر مراجعین دارم هم در قسمت معلولین و هم در قسمت جواز کار که برای اطفای خارجی و داخلی داده میشه مشکلات زیاده دارم ولی با آن هم یک 
خدمت صادقانه رو که برای مردم خود انجام میدم احساس راحتی میکنم و خیلی دوست دارم از افغانستان پیشرفت کنم و ترقی کنم و ما هم بتونیم مستر خدمتی در کنار جامعه جهانی برای از اونا قرار بگیریم Uh, I'm very much proud to be an Afghan right. and uh, uh, in Af working in Afghanistan and being an Afghan is a big pride for me. Yeah. Uh, like uh, in my department as a director of uh, yes. um, uh, labor and social affairs, uh, daily you may ask Mr. Martin that daily we just uh, visit a lot of uh, about 2,000 customers come, clients come to yeah. the department. Mm -hmm. so with, yeah. uh, just we are dealing with the various issues but uh, this is uh, not a, a big problem for us because uh, the main aim is to ser provide service right. to, res uh, to provide ser service and assistance to the people of Afghanistan I respect my con constitution I respect the Afghanistan constitution and this is big pride to me to yeah. serve to respect and to be an Afghan very good very good so uh, Mr. Atif uh, what is the future plans between Philippines and Afghanistan now uh, that you have been talking to Filipino leaders and the department, what are the plans in the next five years? Uh, actually, uh, when we come here, also with Ms. Tanmuri, uh, our advisor in Martin, here, yeah. yes, Martin, uh, we came in here that uh, we hope this is not our first and last trip, uh, trip yeah. yeah, because uh, we saw there is uh, more uh, capacity in the Philippines government uh, yeah. that they have. Uh, taking that uh, strategy mm -hmm. to achieve to their tar uh, targets and to uh, save and to protect uh, the, p the people, the p uh, especially they uh, yeah. work a lot about the p uh, poverty and now uh, we see uh, this is very best. And because of that, we uh, have our plan, especially whenever we are going back to Afghanistan, uh, we will uh, sit together, we will, uh, we will uh, arrange all our experience, uh, our team, We'll sit together mm. and we saw whatever we learned from here and also after that we are going to make the plan uh, when we're coming back in a, in a Philippine mm -hmm. after that we have to have some agreements in here okay. and uh, especially uh, we will uh, maybe we'll invite from uh, directors uh, from directors of the labor and uh, uh, social welfare uh, from the uh, leadership of uh, this Philippines. Uh, Philippines so the leadership of uh, to share their, their, share their, insight, their, yeah. uh, their, their uh, experience and also we will uh, have a more contact in the future to uh, achieve in our target as well in Afghanistan to make the strategic plan of our ministry. All right, so thank you very much. Inshallah, all this comes true for you, yeah. for Afghanistan. It's a beautiful country, it's a proud country and uh, you also chosen a great partner in the Philippines, especially with Mr. Mapolan over here, no? So uh, my interview is over. Thank you very much for being here, for sharing your insights. If there is anything that you think I haven't yet asked you, and you want to talk about Philippines or Afghanistan, you have one minute to talk to that camera. Anything you want to say, Madam or همتریایی که با ما شده که امروز ما تانستیم این مسایب را انجام بدیم و همچنین از میمان نوزی مردم فلیپین جا داره که همو بهترین اعترامات آمین افتلی و زیر کار امور اجتماعی است که برای ما مسئولیت دایرکتری سفر را دادن برای خدمت مردم فلیپین ابراز کنم و امیدوارم که مردم افغانستان هم با همو استعداد قنی که دارن از تجارب کشورهای جهان آموخته و ای را با خود داشته باشیم و افغانستان را یک کشور آباد، آزاد، مستقل و همکار با جامعه جهانی با آینده نزدیک انشاءالله بودیم. First of all, thanks for providing us the opportunity to have a discussion about my country. And secondly, uh, thanks for your great hospitality in Philippines. And thirdly, uh, our minister, Minister Ms. Amina Afzeli, uh, sends or conveys message to you, to this uh, country, to Philippines, uh, for great respect and also for hospitality and also providing assistance and providing the situation, opportunity for Afghan people, uh, mission to come to Philippines and uh, take utilization. Uh, and learn from the experience of Philippine people and also we hope that we could utilize the expertise of Afghan of Philippine people in Afghanistan and we could uh, uh, attract the assistance of Philippine to f towards Afghanistan thank oh. you so much thank you so much we say mabuhay in the Philippines so mabuhay thank you very much thank you very much Adam. thank you very much
Martin, did you want to close up, wrap up, or anything quickly? No, no, it's okay. So thank you very much for being on Explain Insights. So ladies and gentlemen, that were our guests from Afghanistan, and we talked about the children, and of course the martyrs and the disabled of Afghanistan, and we wish them the best. Thank you. So uh, thank you for watching Explain Insights. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll take a break, and we'll come back and talk to a young gentleman who has also overcome adversity in life, and he'll share his story. So stay watching. This is Explain Insights. I'm your host, Raju Madhya.